What's going on, family? New day, new beginnings. Before we get started, hit that like and share button and subscribe to Truth TR Tube. As you can see by the title, Protect Black Kids at Any Cost. The reason why I came with that title, because in the last month, two black girls were brutally beaten. Um, and it makes me wonder is what kind of conversation are we having with our black kids in the household? I know a lot of us are mentally weak, mentally cowards, and we believe this whole thing as in a minority as a whole, you know, we think that we're people of color. You know, me being a parent, I'm not foolish. You know, I tell my kids the truth because I don't want them to get older and then dislike me because I ain't warned them to one based on the way the system is and people are towards them. So they had one young lady a couple of weeks ago who was beaten in a McDonald's by a Mexican woman, right? Let me read the article. This is from KTLA, you know. A teen girl was seen being beaten inside a McDonald's is speaking out after the terrifying incident unfolded last week. A video of the violent confrontation showed 13-year-old Cassidy Jones being punched, kicked, and knocked to the ground by a female suspect. She was walking home from school with, when the attack happened. There were a dozen of witnesses at the restaurant, and Cassidy's family said they are disappointed no one stepped in to intervene or help the girl. Her family said the attack was completely unprovoked, and they're still trying to understand what exactly happened. I'm okay, Cassie says, as she recovers from the attack, just trying to keep it together, still getting, it, getting to process it. Let me say something, right? We need to understand something. We think differently from everybody else. Everybody else is on cold, and we're not. You know, when you have black kids, you got to tell them, you know, these are the obstacles as a young adult. We all could have, when we go to school, we have friends from different cultures. We cool with that. But just because your friends are cool don't mean them as a whole are cool. And that's my whole point, you know. This whole thing with this little girl, it could have been avoided if she knew the game, if she knew, like, hey, you know, we cool, let me dip out. You know, especially if you're on the wrong side of town. That's the next thing. A lot of parents got this whole thing about sending their kids to a different side of town for schooling because this young girl she was in her zone school she went to a different school that wasn't even um in her zone you know from what i would from the whole article i think is a mexican um neighborhood and so forth but you know her again jumped on by this woman unprovoked you know and can i ask beat and no one um coming to her aid that that tells you something you know that tells you a lot but us as parents, we need to do more. You know, maintaining a child isn't all, but being truthful with your kids. Just because you're a coward, don't let your kids grow to be a coward. Just because your, your, your parents were cowards, don't allow your kids to grow to be a coward. And that's the whole thing. That's just sometimes we have family members or friends and you speaking more, not, yeah, you speaking more militant, saying, I'm not taking that shit. They look at you like you're crazy, but I'm not crazy. I'm not letting no one beat my ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm not letting no one beat my ass. And you got to tell your kids that, you know, hey, I'm not trying to start no shit, but I'm not going to allow you to get up on me. That's it. You know, and I think this past week or two weeks ago, they had an, another young girl. And this one is more brutal. Another young girl up in Chicago. I think she got beat up, you know, I think they was having some Mexican Independence Day. Let me just read it to you. An 11-year-old girl is preparing for a second surgery this week after her mother said two women attacked her. The young girl said, my eye, my eye is in so much pain, my eye, my nose. She and her mother said the injuries happened after neighbors in the Lawndale neighborhood hosted a Mexican Independence Day celebration. First of all, why the fuck are you out there for? That's one. Use a racist slur against an African-American girl. Second... You know, I'm rolling with my kids, and if my kids are at that age where they could throw hands, we all gonna go. We all gonna throw hands. Plain and simple. Thirteen year old, me with my thirteen year old boys, my daughter, we all gonna throw hands. If I go down, we all go down. But I'm gonna go down protecting them. You know, that's why in this article I could tell. Let me see. The mother said that word shouldn't be used towards us. It shouldn't be used against anybody because that's a bad word. That's a mammy. You can tell she's a cow. You know, it's it's. Parents like that, I always say, you know, your mindset should always be in war mode. You should always be like, man, look, I got to make sure shit is on point. You know, 
and allowing your daughter to get beat up like that while you're there, that says a lot about you. Because to get to my daughter, you got to get through me, you know? Let me continue. A few minutes later, two women allegedly attacked the girl when she didn't move her three-month-old Yorkie out the way. <laughs> That's the next thing. Sisters with these fucking small fucking dogs. You know, back in the day, I remember women used to have these big-ass dogs. Shit never used to happen to them. Now you're walking around with these small fucking dogs that can't protect y'all. Someone breaking into your house can't protect y'all. You know, that's asinine, you know? A sixth grade honor student and chair captain named her puppy Barbie. See, there we go. See, there we go right there. Washington and her mom said Barbie was stepped on by one of the women but survived. <laughs> what are you doing out there? You know, what are you doing out there? Then he said the aggressors targeted Washington. I looked up and a bottle was being thrown to my face. I dropped down because I felt something hard watching it said. She punched me in my nose. When she punched me, I almost blacked out and I fell again. Washington's mother preferred for her face not to be shown on TV. I want justice. I want them to see her. First of all, I want to know where the father at. Because this woman here, this is a cowardly fucking parent. A cowardly parent. Once you see something like that happen, you go ham. All bets are off, you know. Lives are being taken. It's not going to be mine or my child. You know, and this is what I'm trying to tell you, man. It's the mentality that we have not being truthful with our kids. You know, this all could have been prevented if she was truthful with her kid. Her kid's on the honor roll, so we basically know, you know, the kid probably has it going. But if you're in a neighborhood where they're having a Mexican independence celebration, eh, that show you something. But the two incidents, they in Hispanic neighborhoods. Parents, tell your kids the truth about racism. Tell your truth to kids that we're not people of color. We're black people. Because everybody else see they sold individually and as a whole. Mexican, Spanish, um, Spanish, Jewish, white. Everybody see they sold as a whole. We just want to be lumped up. Everyone's not on our side and we need to understand that. Family, leave me a like and a comment. And subscribe to Truth TR2. Thank you.